how the Palo Alto firewall is going to do the packet flow. So we have to understand how this step by step packet flow is going to happen and what is the logic behind it. So you can see we have the multiple stages. We have the receive packet stage and then we have the slow path concept. We have the fast path concept. We have the application identifications. And then finally, we have the egress stage where my packet is going to be actually transmitted from one source to another destination. So how it is going to be happen? Let's understand. Let's suppose that this is my one of the packet. This packet having the multiple informations. We have the source IP, we have the destination IP, right? Means we have the layer two information. This is the MAC informations. This is my IP informations. That is a layer three. This is the layer two. Okay, this is going to be layer three. This is going to be my layer four and this is going to be my layer seven. And then finally, after that, we have the some additional data also means it's not going to finish here. They are just going to be include the layer three, layer two, layer four, layer seven. Some additional information is also going to be there. And what is that additional information? It's going to be your URL. It's going to be your like uh, some kind of device informations, device ID. Okay, some kind of the user ID, this and some additional info also it is going to be carried. So they are going to be like uh, combine multiple information inside of the packet. But end of the day, when the packet is going to be transmitted the firewall, this all information is going to be checked. Along with that, they also going to check the payload. Payload is actually your data. So whenever the firewall is going to receive this packet, the firewall is going to make sure whatever the information I'm getting, that all must be verified. Thank you.